What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it. And let's jump into it. All right, drivers and dashers. This is a lengthy one, but you guys need to hear about this. So this is from Ian and he says, Pete, after hearing a viewer's recent story about being reactivated with Grubhub, I wanted to share this with you. At least others can get an idea as to how this can happen. If you want to relay this story, feel free to paraphrase if, if it's lengthy. Uh, it's, I'd been an Uber Eats driver for three years, never any problems outside of the typical stuff that we know to expect. I was always a gold or platinum level with good scores. When the pandemic first hit, my real job went away, so I had to kick up the Uber Eats hours and drove daily and nightly throughout the pandemic. As the restaurants started to reopen and delivery businesses started to wane, this happened. Those of us who had driver's license renewals during the summer, May for me, due to the fact that the DMVs had not reopened, we were sent temporary licenses with an extended date of three additional months. So I uploaded it to the app to replace the one that was expiring. After a day of it not being approved, I called and was told they weren't sure what the problem was and they'd call me back the next day. This went on for two weeks. Remember, this was my only source of income as I not yet had signed, had time to sign up with another app. After two weeks, I still continued to get the same story, but kept hearing, we'll get it straightened out for you. And as all you know, with each call, you have to relay the entire story again. Then I was finally told my license was snagged as being fraudulent and received a deactivation email stating that this is final. After no exaggeration, a total of 30 hours spent on the phone, including on hold time plus actually talking to someone, and 40-something emails in the next week, I got nowhere. I tried every way possible to explain the extended temporary license, sending in notices from the DMV website, but it did no good. The local hub was closed. I learned by doing a search and asking other drivers on Twitter and Reddit that this has happened to many others. They all told me that I was wasting my time fighting it. Then, by coincidence, I read that this had happened to a group of drivers in Holland, and they were advised to sue Uber for being fired without any human involvement or oversight. In other words, they had been fired by an algorithm which was illegal. The driver sued and won and were rehired with back pay. The local Uber hub began taking a few appointments, but they were slow with a couple of weeks' wait. I was approaching homelessness. I started with DoorDash, but by that time, they'd already dropped their payouts to nothing. It's just like them to treat the dedicated drivers who had made millions for them through the pandemic this way. Finally, my appointment at the hub arrived, and I thought it would be easy enough to get the problem resolved, but it wasn't. It got nowhere. The scariest part is that Uber, of all companies, had no idea of the extended temporary licenses across the state. How could this be? Mind you, there has to be hundreds of drivers who had been sent temporary licenses, and it had been advertised on every media platform. But Uber knew nothing. In fact, they were quite smug about it when I showed them copies of the info from various sites. They stated that their systems weren't even set up to enter licenses on anything other than a calendar year, which was probably true, but wouldn't a tech company of this size not know this? This is more proof that they're not a tech company. They told me to wait until the DMV reopened, still a month away, and to get some documents stating all of this, though it was clearly on the DMV site. By this time, it was clear that I would lose my apartment. I slept on the floor of a friend's place for the next month, at which time I got the documents Uber asked for and scheduled another appointment. Still a week out, at the, appoint at the appointment, it was clear to me that they had been placating me and these documents weren't going to get me reactivated. So I realized all the other drivers were correct in saying not to waste my time. But I'm not the type to let things like this happen without some sort of pushback. I called a couple of lawyers who, adver who advertised as being Uber specialists, submitted all the paperwork, and then heard nothing. I was tired and broke and wondered how this happens to people that don't deserve it. 
It's totally depressing that they can get away with treating people this way. So after hearing your viewer's story about sending a certified letter with threats to Grubhub, I decided to do the same. We will see what happens. I don't really ever even want to drive for them at this point since they followed DoorDash in exploiting their drivers and restaurants, but it's the principle that matters. It may not matter to them at all, but I will contact every media outlet and news sites and tell them how I became homeless due to their mistakes. I, I think the public is ripe for hearing this sort of thing now. If I hadn't had a response in a fair amount of time as I wrote in my letter, I will be pressing charges. I may not get anything from it, but I f I'll feel a lot better than just sitting and taking their crap. I really feel that too many drivers for these companies don't take action. We go on sites like yours and complain to each other, but it seems to stop there. And there is, and this is one reason the companies continue to treat us this way. They get no pushback and no bad press. We have to change that. I apologize for the link, but I uh, wanted you to know all the details. I'll keep us posted. Best, Ian in Atlanta. Ian, I really hope, man, that you get some sort of justice out of this because that's awful, dude. I wish there was something I could do to help you out because living on your friend's floor, I mean, that's one hell of a friend too, to at least allow to, you know, to take you in like that. Um, I've, I've been on the verge of homeless, a couple homelessness, a couple times in my life. So I, I can totally relate. I understand when times get tough, how bad things can get. Um, and I seriously hope things get better sooner than later. So drivers, dashers, everybody in the chat, in the comments, please, what are your thoughts on Ian's situation? Can you relate? Do you have any advice for him that he hasn't tried already? I really need to hear what you guys have to say about this. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page and click on the link that says Get the Free Gas app. It's very simple to use. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pinned top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below. And the pinned top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know you enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked L-I-K-E-D just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey. Keep hustling and keep bustling and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.